Hi everyone, Unboxing Alism here and welcome back to my channel. In this short video I will show you how to use the control center and I also share with you many hidden tips and tricks. Let's start it. Starting from WatchOS 10, the familiar gesture of swiping up from the bottom to access the control center is no longer available. Instead, you need to press the side button to bring up the control center. I think you see a different layout on your watch. I have already customized the layout of my watch. So first let me share with you how you can do it. Doing it is super simple. Swipe down to the edit button, tap on it and as you can see the app started shaking. If you want to rearrange them, just move the icon to its new position. There is a minus or a plus on the icons. You can add or remove apps in the control center list. The first icon is the Wi-Fi. You can switch it on or off and if you long press the Wi-Fi button it displays the available networks allowing you to switch between them. The next button can ping your iPhone. With this little phone button the watch sends a ping signal to the iPhone which in turn provides sound feedback. A long press on this button turns on the torch which can be really useful in low light. This icon displays your battery percentage. Toggling this bell icon on or off activates silent mode. It's really helpful when the notification sound might be distracting. In this mode you will receive haptic feedback only. You can use this button to activate do not disturb, work mode or sleep mode. Your Apple Watch can function as a torch and there are three different types. The first one is the white. The second one is the blinking white. When I tap on any flashlight type, it increases the brightness. And the last one is the red. The next is the airplane mode. If you tap on it, your watch and your phone will be put into airplane mode. This one is the theater mode. If you are in the theater or in a cinema, the brightness of your watch can be distracting in the dark. This mode will turn your screen off and activate the wake the screen by wrist race feature. With the digital crown you can gently increase its brightness. It's important to mention that this mode won't put your phone into silent mode. You can check your headphones volume here. If you go swimming or having a bath, this feature will lock the screen to prevent the water from getting inside your watch. You can activate the water lock with this icon, so you cannot select anything. This one is the walkie-talkie. If you turn it on, it means you can walkie-talkie with someone else who enabled the walkie-talkie mode as well. You can put your watch into school time mode. When you turn it on, you can only see an analog clock, removing any possible distractions. Basically, it is an alternative to not disturb mode, but in this case you can see an analog clock only, so you won't receive notifications and you can see apps and so on. You can change the text size in the control center as well. You can connect to AirPods using this button and if your AirPods support it, you can also set the noise control mode. That's it, we are done. At the end of my video let me ask you a small favor. As you can see, most of my viewers are not subscribed. If you find my video helpful, please take a second to give a like and click on the subscribe button to help my videos reach more people. Thank you and see you in the next one.